In this video, we are looking at how to effectively use the functionality contained in the Maps tab of ForeFlight Mobile. This is part two of a two video series on the Maps tab and will focus on the features specific to the en route phase of your flight. In the last video, we planned a VFR flight from Palo Alto to Modesto to Placerville and finally on to South Lake Tahoe. Once you've got those fixes in the search window, you will see the course drawn over the chart with the active leg magenta and subsequent legs drawn in blue. And you will notice the GPS HUD is now populated with useful information about the flight. This is a simulation, but in flight, you would read your ground speed here, your GPS altitude here, and your magnetic course here, complete with an accuracy meter so that you're fully informed about the integrity of the information. You can expand or collapse the HUD here. Note too that you can change these items by tapping any of them and selecting the instrument you would like. Now, let's drop down the nav log from the top of the screen and take a closer look. If you decide at any point that you'd like to change the route, this is one place where you can manage it. For example, if you'd like to proceed directly to Placerville without stopping in Modesto, simply touch the right arrow and select Direct. Again, this is a simulation, and in actual flight, you will see a blue aircraft symbol progress along your route. The map will keep centered on your aircraft when you select the GPS symbol in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Now let's look at how to get airport information while you're flying along. Simply touch the airport you'd like to know about with one finger and hold for a moment. You will see the right arrow symbol that, when selected, will take you to the airport page for that airport. Don't worry if you don't hit the airport exactly. If you come close, you'll see the airport in the list that appears. When you find the airport you're looking for on the list, you can navigate directly to the airport page using the blue right arrow button. So now that you know how to set up a route and check the important information along the way, let's set up a simple scenario. Imagine we're flying this route and we decide at some point that the weather is too poor to continue VFR. We decide to air file an IFR flight plan and proceed to South Lake Tahoe IFR. First, let's switch to an IFR chart, which is accomplished through the drop-down menu in the upper left of the screen. You will notice that the course stays intact as we change the chart beneath it. However, now that we are on an IFR flight plan, let's imagine that ATC has given us the following route. Direct Hangtown VOR, Spook Intersection, Victor 28, Ritchie intersection, then direct. So once you have entered that into the search field, you will see the course appear. And if you drop down the nav log, you'll see all of the pertinent information. Now, if ATC cuts a corner for you, for example, they vector you northwest of Spook up here and tell you to intercept Victor 28 and proceed on course, you will manage this through the nav log. Simply tap on the right arrow symbol that we used to go direct and instead select fly leg. You will immediately see the new active leg turn magenta. I hope that helps you get through some of the basic functionality of the maps tab. To learn more, please check out our blog or our website. As always, send us a quick email to team at foreflight.com with any questions or suggestions. From all of us at Team Foreflight, thank you.